السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا بكم مع لسان عربي في درس جديد من الكتاب الأساسي لتعليم العربية لغير الناطقين بها اليوم سندرس الوحدة السادسة Today we will study unit 6 الوحدة السادسة which includes أولا الأصوات الصحيحة لام راء نون consonants ل ر and ن ثانيا سندرس من we will study من which means who ثالثا أنا I, أنت, you, هو, he, هي, she. رابعا, ما and من with هذا, to make a question. ما هذا and من هذا. The first consonant is لا. And لا, as you can see, it's similar to ألف. But there is a curvy shape that goes under the line and then up again. La can be lu if it is followed by dhamma. It could be la if it is followed by fatha. And it could be li if it is followed by the short vowel kasra i. So the sound depends on what follows. Lu, li, la. Its name is Lam. And la is a connective letter, which means it connects to the letter before and the letter after. Let's see the example. Lisan. Lisan. Li. Because there is kasra here, the short vowel i, li, lisan, tongue, kalam, kalam. Lam here is in the middle, connecting to the letter before and the letter after, and we trimmed the curvy shape. So it is like Aleph, but it is connected from both sides. Be careful. Many students confuse Lam for Aleph and Aleph for Lam. Always Aleph is connected from one side. Lam is connected from both sides. Or from the following side, if there is a letter after it. يدخل يدخل here lam is in the end position and as you can see when it is in the final position we kept the curvy tail and it is connected to خاء يدخل means to enter the fourth example is هلال crescent Hilal. And as you can see here, we have two lambs here. The first one is with the alif to make la. He, la. And the last one is lam, hilal. And of course, because lam here is preceded by alif, which is non connective, that's why it is written as a separate letter. So lam is connective. It connects to the following letter, like here in the beginning of the word. We trim the curvy shape and we continue on the line till we reach the second letter. Lam in the middle is very important to notice that it connects from both sides, which means this is how we differentiate it from Aleph. Lam in the 
final position can be preceded by a connective letter and it will be written like that because it's connected or it could be preceded by a non-connective letter and it should be written like this the second consonant is r and it is unlike english r it is flippery like the spanish one r because the tip of the tongue flips with the air stream coming from the lungs r and the sound could be ru ri ra depending on the following short vowel and the name is ra ra is distinguished from zai by means of the dot if there is a dot above the ra it becomes zai they both have the same shape and both letters are non connective they don't change the shape if they are preceded by a non connective letter they are as they are but if they preceded by a connective letter they should have this stretch here let's see the examples the first one rajul rajul ra fatha so it's ra rajul man rajul the second one is in the middle yar kab and as you can see this is sukun so we don't have u a e so yar kab yar kab yar kab is to ride a horse or a transport means yar kab namer namer this is in the final position preceded by a connective letter namer tiger thawr thawr and by now i think you know this word because we studied this before thawr thawr and ra here is in final position preceded by non connective letter let's see the third a consonant n and its nasal sound and also noon or na can vary depending on the following short vowel so we could say nu if there is dhamma after it ni if there is kasra and na if there is fatha its name is noon 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 wa dhamma nu followed by a long vowel because dhamma is the sister of waw that's why we say noon let's see the examples nuqud nuqud money min deal min deal handkerchief min there's sukun so i have to pause a little min deal min deal sin sin a tooth here it is in the final position preceded by seen which is a connective letter asnan asnan here we have noon in the middle connected to seen and connecting to the following alif asnan so noon here is written in that shape because it's in a final position preceded by alif which is non connective these are the shapes of noon it is similar to ba however the main difference is it is the dot is above there's one dot above it and the the shape is more curvy and uh, also it, the shape the curvy shape goes under the line not like ba 
which rests on the line. When it is in the middle, it is similar to ba. The difference is ba, the dot is under, noon, the dot is above. Now, we come to tadribat. We said tadribat, tadrib is exercise, tadribat exercises. تدريب واحد ضع دائرة حول رمز الصوت الذي تسمعه في أول الكلمة ضع دائرة put a circle حول رمز الصوت around the symbol of the sound الذي تسمعه which you hear في أول الكلمة أول الكلمة the beginning of the word we have a set of letters, four letters, arba'atu. Huruf. I will say a word and you try to guess which letter the word starts with. Al kalima al ula, the first word. Lisan. Lisan. Sahih. Hada huwa al harf. Lam. هذا هو الرمز الكلمة الثانية هي رجل رجل صحيح هذا هو رمز الحرف راء ر رجل الكلمة الثالثة هي نقود نقود صحيح رمز الحرف هذا وهو حرف النون نو وذ الضمه مع الضمه يسي نو نو نقود تدريب اثنان ضع دائره حول رمز الصوت الذي تسمعه this is the same ضع دائره حول رمز الصوت الذي تسمعه في نهايه الكلمه now, awwal is beginning, nihaya is end. Fi nihayati al kalima, in the end of the word. So I will say the kalima, I will say the word, and you try to guess the sound in the end of this word. Al kalima al ula, al kalima al ula, the first word. Sin, sin, صحيح, حرف النون, والصوت هو النون, n, sin. الكلمة الثانية هي نمر, نمر, صحيح, الحرف الأخير في نهاية الكلمة هو را ر نمر الكلمة الثالثة يدخل يدخل ما هو رمز الصوت what is the symbol of the sound صحيح لا لام تدريب ثلاثة اكتب الكلمات الآتية كلمة is word كلمات words word words الكلمة الكلمات الآتية the following of course you don't need to write them but I will read them and you try to guess the meaning محراث Plow. Timthal. Statue. Wisada. Pillar. Habl. Rope. Jaru. Puppy. Dabit. Officer. Maktab. Desk. Qitat. Cats, 
يضحك to laugh سفينة سفينة ship أمشاط أمشاط combs سيارة سيارة a car ظرف envelope حديقة garden مقص scissors نأتي الآن إلى التدريب الرابع exercise 4 أجب عن الأسئلة التي تحت الصور Answer the question under the images أجب عن الأسئلة أسئلة questions أجب عن الأسئلة التي تحت الصور تحت is under we learned in the previous lessons الصور is the plural of صورة الأسئلة questions إذا أجب عن الأسئلة التي تحت الصور ما هذا ما هذا هذا قلم هل هذا ضابط لا هذا لسان هل هذا ضابط لا هذا لسان ما هذا ما هذا ما هذا هذا هلال هل هذا نمر هل هذا نمر نعم هذا نمر ما هذا هذا الثور هل هذا منديل هل هذا منديل نعم هذا منديل ما هذه ما هذه هذه نقود هذه نقود هل هذه سن هل هذه سن نعم هذه سن ما هذا ما هذه هذه اسنان هذه اسنان ناتي الان الى جزء جديد من دروسنا الا وهو المحادثه now we come to a new section or new aspect of our lessons which will include some basic conversation or sentences man ana man ana who am i man ana so we use man to ask about humans who man ana who am i this is the title of the lesson here we have kamal kamal is introducing himself to samir and samir is responding let's see kamal says ana kamal so the easiest way to introduce yourself after greeting you say ana which means i and then you put your name either full name or your first name ana kamal he says ana kamal ana i kamal am we don't use am is are in arabic ana kamal man anta man anta 
Now he's asking Samir. Samir, in terms of gender, he's masculine and he's singular. So the second person, Anta. You say, Anta. Man Anta. Samir responds saying, Ana Samir. Now Kamal is introducing himself to a woman. Let's see what changes will happen. He says, Ana Kamal. That's the bit he introduces himself. Ana Kamal. Man anti. She responds, Ana Layla. Ana Layla. Now the changes is in the vowel. Here the short vowel is Fatha, here the short vowel is Kasra with the Ta. So Man Anta, Man Anti, Fatha for the masculine and Kasra for the feminine. And of course, singular. So Ana Kamal, Man Anti, Ana Layla. Here Kamal is speaking about someone else, a third person. He introduces himself, Ana Kamal, Man huwa? Who is he? Man huwa? Huwa Hassan. Huwa Hassan. He is Hassan. Now Samir is speaking and saying, Huwa Hassan. Now, Kamal wants to ask about this woman. Let's see how he will approach that. Ana Kamal, he introduces himself. Ana Kamal, man hiya? Man hiya? Man hiya? Hiya Samira. Hiya Samira. Hiya means she. Hawa means he, he is Samira. She is Samira. Tadrib Khamsa. Ikhtar adat al istifham al munasiba li sura. Ikhtar adat al istifham al munasiba li sura. Li sura. Choose the suitable or the right question word for each image or photo. Here we need to choose either man or ma. The key element in our choice is, depends on whether the image is for a human or non-human. So this is a human, rajul. You say man hadha, not ma hadha. Man hadha, هذا حسن من هذا هذا حسن هذه قطة cat non-human we say ما هذه الإجابة the answer هذه قطة إذا ما هذه for non-human أو ما هذا for non-human whereas من هذا for human here, this is a human, so we say man hadihi, and we used hadihi because she is a woman. Man hadihi, hadihi Samira. Man anta, man anta, because he's a man. Ana Kamal. Man anta, ana Kamal. Now, this image is for a ship, Safina. So it's non human. We say, right, ma hadihi, hadihi Safina. Now, sarir, sarir is masculine, so I used hadha. But can I use men? Of course not, because it is non human. So we say, ma hadha. Ma hadha. هذا سرير
وهنا نأتي إلى ختام درسنا لهذا اليوم من الكتاب الأساسي إن شاء الله في الدرس المقبل in the next lesson we will be studying سوف ندرس الوحدة السابعة unit 7 which includes التي تتضمن الأصوات الصحيحة consonants شين جيم ياء ش ج أن ياء We will also study or learn how to ask about what somebody is doing. ماذا يفعل؟ ماذا يفعل؟ إلى اللقاء إن شاء الله في الدرس المقبل مع لسان عربي. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.